Dallas woman is convicted of a murder for hire plot. Her target, a woman in South Haven. Yeah, this one is pretty bizarre. Prosecutors say the whole scheme started after Ashley Grayson had a falling out with the victim because they ran similar online businesses and she believed the victim had created fake profiles criticizing her. WRG Shay Arthur spent the day finding out more about this case. She's live tonight with the latest. Shay, what have you learned? Well, Stephanie, Greg, you said it's some pretty wild and alarming details in this case to tell you about tonight. I did speak with that victim today who told me this whole saga has really, as you can imagine, it's been a nightmare and she's been trying to get her life back to a sense of normalcy, but she apparently uh, she wasn't the only target in this case. A murder for hire case. The plot almost seemed to be ripped right from a movie. But U.S. attorneys say these details are very real. The Department of Justice says Ashley Grayson ran an Internet-based business and became a well-known presence. Research shows she did online coaching. In 2021, prosecutors say she had a falling out with a South Haven woman who did similar work, and she believes she created fake profiles criticizing her. In 2022, Grayson asked a Memphis woman who she worked with in the past to fly to Dallas, Texas, where she lived to discuss a business opportunity. There, Grayson proposed a scheme. She would pay that woman and her husband to kill three people. The South Haven woman, Grayson's former boyfriend, and a woman in Texas who she said made negative social media posts about her. For each death, she offered at least $20,000. On September 10th, 2022, the woman who was supposed to carry out the hit recorded a call to Grayson where she confirmed she wanted the South Haven woman killed, even offering an extra $5,000 for it to happen within the next week. At one point, that woman sent Grayson a picture of unrelated police lights, saying she had tried to carry out the job but was unsuccessful, demanding $10,000. The woman and her husband went to Dallas, where Grayson paid $10,000 for what she believed was the attempt. Grayson and her husband were both indicted, but following a week-long trial, her husband Joshua was acquitted. Last month, the judge sentenced Ashley to 10 years in prison. Stephanie Gregg, again, I did speak with that woman at the center of this case here locally. She told me she's glad justice is finally being served, but she says this whole process is far from over. For your news leader, we're live downtown tonight. Shay Arthur, WREG, News Channel 3. Story